OK, we're now going to have a look at a different sort of scale factor, a negative scale factor. Now, we've already worked out that scale factors that are bigger than 1, so things like 1, 2, 1 1.5, make a shape bigger. And scale factors between 0 and 1, so things like a quarter and a half, make a shape smaller. So what have we got left that negative numbers can do? We've got bigger, we've got smaller, so what on earth are these going to do? Well, to have a think about it, we'll have a look at a quick number line. So there's our number line, 0 in the middle, going up to positive 2 here and down to negative 2. Now, we know that 1 is one space away from 0. Now, negative 1 is also one space away from 0, but in the opposite direction. Now, in a similar way, 2 is two spaces on the number line away from 0, but so is negative 2, and negative 2 is two spaces away in the opposite direction. So negative scale factors are all to do with looking at the opposite. So whatever direction we were going in to start with, as soon as we put a negative sign in front, we end up reversing it. So if we were counting up 1, as soon as we put a negative sign in front of it, we end up counting down 1 instead. So the process is still the same. There's A, there's B, and there's C. Now, A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares left. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares left, and 3 squares up. Now, when we find the opposite, or look at doing the opposite of that, well, the opposite of left is right. So A is going to be 5 squares right, and 3 squares down. So starting from the centre, 5 squares right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 squares down. This is already starting to look a little bit strange. B, well that's 2 left and 3 up. The opposite of 2 left is 2 right. Opposite of 3 up is 3 down. And C, well that's 2 left and 1 down. So opposite of 2 left is 2 right. Opposite of 1 down is 1 up. So if we draw our shape in now, we can see that what's happened is this triangle, it hasn't actually changed size because we were only multiplying it by 1. But what the negative sign has done is it's flipped it round. So it was this way round. It's now flipped so it's a different way round. It's actually rotated through 180 degrees. Now we can check that we're right because our old trick of joining up the points still works. Have a look. So we can see now that joining through from original B to new B through the centre of enlargement from A to A and from C to C, we still end up with the same picture. So we still know that our question is correct. Now a negative scale factor of 1 is the only enlargement that doesn't change the size of the shape. Okay. If you want to have a look at the effects of other negative enlargements, have a look at the next video.